Hey guys, welcome to another dog vlog. <laughs> oh yes. And in this video, I mean, I am going to be doing a, no, not a, not a day in the life, although this is true. I literally just woke up. Uh, but I am gonna do a tour of the boys' uh, room that we decorated. I have a super cute outfit picked out. Ooh, <laughs> let me just get dressed. Right? Oh, oof, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful shirt. Yep, I have a brand new shirt. If you guys want to get your hands on one of these, I'll have the link down below. Oh, there's Haven. Oh, there goes Tim. <laughs> Hi, Haven. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Okay, B Bentley, leave her alone. Do you wanna come with mama and I'll feed you? Huh? Okay, I'm gonna put her up in high territory. Yes, good boy, good job, wait. Wait, okay, Bentley can free. Wait, Adios. There they go, and they're off. Hi, sweet girl. Show how cute you are. Mm. See, I'm like 15, 14 years old, yeah. Okay, let's feed you. It is now time for a room reveal for their bedroom. Like literally, they have their own bedroom. It is a core reason of why we bought this home. Let's go on in and welcome to Bentley and Finnegan's bedroom. So let's go on in. You have seen me film some videos in here before, but I've never done a room tour explaining how and why I decorated this room and set it up the way that I did. Every element of it has something to do with or for the dogs, obviously. Uh, I did not design this by myself. This was actually designed by one of my very best friends. Her name is Brenna Hess. Uh, her Instagram will have a link down below. It's not finished yet, but I'm gonna show you how far we've made. When you first walk in, you see a lot of natural light, which was important to me to have for the boys. Their closet over here will start with the least exciting thing. I also have one of these child safety locks because this is where I keep their toys and their treats and training material and filming material. And Finn can open it, so with that he's not able to. And then we'll start on the wall immediately to your right when you first walk in. So I actually have this head mount here because my dogs are my superhero. And so I thought that this was a good representation of that. My dogs have literally saved my life over and over again from giving me purpose, from comforting me when I'm down, and just being a tremendous part of my life. So I really thought that was cool when I found that. Things that I'm showing you in this room, if I can find it, I will link it down below. So don't worry about trying to find these things. I'll, I'll put the links for you if I can. But up here, I have a cute little wooden clock, some shelves that Mikey installed, which was a pain. I have a Nest camera so I can keep an eye on the dogs at all time. I have some treats in here. I usually have these jars full of dehydrated and freeze dried single protein treats uh, like beef long, heart, things like that. Just a good way to reinforce positive behavior. I thought this was cute. I've got poop bags lint roller and some of their daily kind of natural flea and tick repellent. Over here, you guys have seen, if, if you've watched uh, Finnegan, if you go to my, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I like to track my puppies and my foster puppies growth. So I have that behind the door. I have uh, fresh water at all times available for the boys. And in here, I just have some extra blankets and some water wipes, so if I need to wipe their paws before they come in. This is my second camera of the room, the Pet Cube Bites 2. Uh, they did send this to me. This video is not sponsored by them, but I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested in this, but it actually shoots treats out of here. So I really enjoy having that in here. And then this is Bentley's bunny. <laughs> Up here, you guys probably didn't even notice this, is 
a room temperature sensor. I know I've gone off the deep end, but where did it go? That is really important for me to have because summers here get very hot and you know, knock on wood, if something were to happen, AC started acting up or whatever, I wanna make sure that the room that they're in is always at a safe and comfortable temperature. So that will alert me if the temperature gets too high or too low. So I like having that in here. We looked over here. Let's go immediately to our left. So it, again, I said we're not completely done. We have patch marks there because I had a coat rack of all their bandanas. It fell off the wall, so we need to fix that. While this room is 99% for the dogs, I do film in here quite a bit. So this chair is for me for filming. I have this little lion here. This is representative of Finnegan because he's my little wild lion child. And down here, I have some wooden crates. When I'm filming, if I have props, this is where I put them. Uh, but I found these two, one of these was a gift and one of them I bought uh, cameras that are soft dog plush toys. So I love those. Fake plants. This is, you know, my mantra, why I do everything I do for the most part. I, I really am on this mission to save all the damn dogs. And so if you are new here, click that subscribe button if you want to be a part of that mission because we're actually making some waves here. So be sure to be part of that. I do have a shirt that has this on it. I'll have it linked down below as well. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then if we come back to the front door. So here's where you enter. You look to your left and my favorite wall. I'll save the best for last. This is where the dogs sleep when we're not here. Now, at nighttime, they sleep with us in the bedroom. This room is literally just where they go if we're physically not home. This was the inspiration of the entire room. When I first thought about having a dog room, what I wanted first was to have pictures of Bentley and Finn over their beds. So there's Bentley and Finn, and these were both taken by my good friend and a local photographer. Her name is Ashley Huff. I will link her down below. She's incredible if you wanna get some photos done with or without your animals. This was really important to me because they are, they're my world, they really are. So this, um, some, I don't know, bees, who knows? Me, that's just tr me trying to be <laughs> aesthetic. Uh, and then here are their beds. I have some pillows, some, uh, that's Finnegan's bed and his favorite plush dog. And there's Bentley's lamb. I have this rug, it was actually, an, is actually an outdoor rug, so it's really low ply. Uh, I think you can even throw it in the washer. And I really just love the colors. I don't know, what do you guys think? What was your favorite part of their room? What's something that you thought was really cool? Important caveat here. <laughs> I wanna make this super clear. I'm just saying this is what I do with my dogs. I am not recommending that you leave your dogs free in a room or with all this stuff around or saying that all these things are safe for your dog. These are just work, what work for my dog. And I just wanna make that clear because I spent months and months transitioning the dogs into staying in a room free roaming and learning how to build trust with them. So I just wanna make sure that that's clear. For many, many pet parents, I do not recommend leaving stuffed toys or even toys alone with your dogs. Are you surprised at all that I decorated the room like this? Uh, I am so excited and again, my best friend, Brenna Hess, who is part of Revive Interiors NW, we'll have her link down below on Instagram, uh, was a big part of decorating this. And she does do digital and <laughs> she does do long distance uh, consults if you guys need any design tips or advice. On that note, when you're on Instagram, go follow me too. It's at Rachel Fasaro. I'm also on Facebook and we have some really good content where I where I connect with you guys on the daily. And don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can be part of our mission to save all the damn dogs. All right, guys, 
and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.